An earthquake is a sudden release of energy um, along a crack in the Earth's crust. The earthquake starts at a focus and due to a build up of pressure between plate boundaries, energy is then released. The epicentre is the point on the Earth's surface which is directly above the focus and it will feel the shaking first. Earthquakes tend to occur along fault lines or plate boundaries. Uh, we can feel earthquakes at all types of plate boundaries, uh, therefore it's fairly easy to remember. Earthquakes can be managed in the same way as volcanoes by remembering the three P's, prediction, protection and preparation. In terms of prediction, it's really difficult to predict an earthquake. In fact, we can't do it. The only thing we can do is actually have a good awareness of where earthquakes are likely to occur. We can know that by looking at things like the map of the plate boundaries. We know that earthquakes will occur along plate boundaries and therefore we can predict where they're likely to occur, but we can't predict when they can occur. This makes it fairly difficult to manage. Our second P is preparation. Because prediction is so difficult, it's important that governments prepare their citizens for earthquakes if they live near a plate boundary. So things like education programmes to educate people about what earthquakes are and how they should react in an earthquake situation. Also preparing emergency services uh, for large earthquake events. This is going to be much easier in an MEDC than an LEDC, purely because MEDCs have a lot of funding and a lot of infrastructure already set up in order to cope with these things. In LEDCs it's a lot more difficult because the money is not there to fund such programmes. The last P is protection. Here you need to be thinking about how can we protect our buildings so that they can sustain and withstand sh the shaking of an earthquake. In MEDCs, again, this is much more easy because we have the money to build very advanced buildings. So, in MEDCs, you want to be looking at buildings such as those seen in California, the most famous of which would be the Trans-American Pyramid. Please Google it, look it up, have a look at how it has been built. It features particular things such as cross bracing which help hold the walls together, shatterproof glass which stop the, stops the glass from shattering outwards and shards falling to the ground which could obviously injure many many people. They also put things like a weight at the top of the building um, which acts almost like a pendulum and helps prevent sway. Uh, very, very deep foundations and the buildings tend to be built out of fairly flexible materials, things like steel. In LEDCs, building these sort of buildings is a lot more difficult because the materials and the money to build these buildings is just not there. However, that doesn't mean that they can't earthquake proof their buildings. Many buildings will be made out of very uh, flexible materials, uh, things like wood or even particularly internal walls will be made out of things like paper as uh, has been seen in ancient Japan. These materials are less likely to kill people if the buildings do collapse. Things like cross bracing can be used again but instead of using um, steel to hold the building together uh, you're more likely to see things like wood. Uh, buildings will also be built uh, perhaps on stilts which will help the building to sway from side to side and uh, foundations can also be put in. So these are the basics of uh, protecting your building from earthquakes. There's a huge amount of resources out there on the internet so once again it's worth getting out on Google and having a look at some of the diagrams that you can find. Good luck!